Well, it's a problem we deal with every summer. Algal blooms are beginning to form again on Lake Erie. It's toxic to people and pets, even affecting our water supply back in 2014, as you recall, and experts say it's arrived early this year. Michael Sandlin joins us now. Michael, why are we seeing it so early this year? Well, Dan, a scientist with NOAA says the hot weather this year has caused Lake Erie to warm up earlier than normal, allowing for the algae to start to grow. Adding, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be worse than previous years. Still, local alg algal blooms remain, remain a serious problem for the entire region. You can even see it from space. Another algal bloom is developing on Lake Erie, and waterkeeper Sandy Bin says it impacts the daily lives of shoreline communities in more ways than one. Economic, health, recreational, um, just enjoyment, um, wildlife, and everything else. Feeding on the plentiful phosphorus runoff from factory farms, algal blooms can take over entire sections of the lake, releasing toxins into the water and a trademark putrid smell. If you go in the green water, people have a report diarrhea, and if you have an open cut, infections in the open cut, and it can be quite serious. When the water turns green, swim advisories are sent out by lakeshore communities, hurting tourism. Research from Ohio State University shows that for every new microgram per liter of algae, the value of homes near the lake go down 1.7 percent. This year, NOAA predicts the lake will see a smaller bloom, but that only means so much. In 2014, they made the same prediction, and that's the year that we saw all the algae in the lake blow over Toledo's water intake valve, making the water undrinkable for hundreds of thousands of people. It's becoming the new normal for lakeshore residents. But NOAA scientist Rick Stump says that doesn't necessarily mean it'll stay this way forever. The scientists suggest if farmers reduce their phosphorus levels in their fertilizer, the algae would have nothing to feed on. There, are, there have been studies and research to show how we can change this. So there's been a lot of work in the um, state of Ohio has funded a lot of research um, and a number of other uh, groups. But whether this will happen is another matter. Ben says taxpayers pay a lot of money to make sure factory farms are using quote-unquote best practices to reduce runoff. But the factory farms still aren't required to measure the phosphorus levels before or after planting, and the algal blooms remain. Agriculture, if you want the money, step up and measure. Residents across the shoreline can expect the algal blooms to remain through the fall. Reporting in studio, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.